Today, we're going to go over the nine best white sage tarot cards. Make sure you stay until the end because you may be surprised. It is not always easy to start each day in a light and cheery mood. Yes, optimism and a positive attitude may come more naturally to some, but everyone, even the most naturally upbeat among us, goes through periods of boredom, dissatisfaction, or depression. And what do we do in these circumstances? We consult the tarot. Whether it is about love, the latest work drama, our lingering heartbreak, or anything else that may be on our minds, among these deep, dark, and serious topics, we hope to get an inkling of something much brighter and luckier. After all, the tarot isn't simply here to help us solve life's mysteries or cure our boredom. It also understands how to communicate a message on the opposite side of the spectrum. Happiness, joy, exciting opportunities, and good luck. These are topics that are all throughout your tarot deck too. But the question is, which of them actually represent good luck? Is your tarot deck really offering you messages of unexpected fortune and good luck? Well, to help you find out, today we're going to go over the nine best White Sage Tarot cards, because what better deck to explore than the White Sage Tarot itself? Make sure you stay until the end, because you may be surprised. Now, without any further ado, let's get right into it. Number nine, Ace of Wands. They say that a journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. The Ace of Wands tarot card carries a similar message, representing a bold step toward a new beginning. As the card of creation, the Ace of Wands represents a rebirth that is much different than both your present and your past. It brings you pure potential, this time in the spiritual, energetic realm. Ideas are flowing to you, motivating and inspiring you to pursue a new path. You are open to receiving new opportunities that align with your higher self. A whole world of possibility is available to you. The Ace of Wands encourages you to follow your heart and live your passion. If you feel a strong pull towards a new project or path, but are questioning whether it will work, then this card gives you a gentle nudge to pursue your passion. You can always start out small, treating the project or idea as an experiment or trial. Then, if it feels good, keep doing it. And if it doesn't, make adjustments and try again. Let your energy, dedication, and motivation be your guides. Number eight. Ace of Pentacles. Let's admit it, broad predictions of good fortune and spiritual renewal are great and all, but sometimes we need something a bit more grounded and tangible. Well, that's exactly when the Ace of Pentacles comes in. The Ace of Pentacles, like the other aces of the tarot, represents new beginnings, opportunities, and potential. And as a Pentacles card, these new beginnings correlate to the material world. You may receive a new job offer, an unexpected sum of money, a new business or investment opportunity may come your way, or you will have the chance to bring an idea to fruition. But make no mistake, you will still have to be the one to reach out and grab the offer when the time comes. Still, we could all use a nice little sign that offers that opportunities are on the way. So if that's what you're wishing for, then the Ace of Pentacles is the card to keep an eye out for. Number seven, Ace of Cups. If you've ever received the Ace of Cups in your reading, then you are either being blessed or will be blessed with a very promising time in your life. The Ace of Cups is literally like a giant gift from heaven. This card often appears in tarot readings when you are open to creative expression, especially when you can allow your emotions to shine through your endeavors. You will be inspired to start a new project, take an art class, or even engage in interpretive dance. At this point in your life, you are comfortable with who you are and happily express this part of yourself to others. You will also experience the beginning of great love, joy, productivity, fertility, and contentment. The Ace of Cups is the bearer of pleasure and happiness. In this, it is extremely fortuitous and lucky that this card is transisting you right now. Well, you must have done something right. Congratulations. Number six, the star. Well, take a big sigh of relief if you are seeing the star on the table, especially if you have been having a particularly hard time. In the tarot, the star comes right after the tower which we know to be a card of destruction and turmoil. In other words, it's not a fun time to say the least. Still, with the clean slate that it often provides us with, we can look towards a new beginning, which is exactly what the star provides. More than that, it is a card of peace, hope, and spiritual healing and renewal, which can lead us to the more standard form of good luck we are used to, like money and love later down the line, if we really want. But above all, the soft and welcoming energy is always a lovely sight to see. Number five, the sun. 
This is one of the most positive cards. Sun in general is a source of energy. Sun is the heart of our solar system. Remember, Sun is the provider and maintainer of life. Of course, you may not always anticipate the level of excitement and happiness that the Sun can provide, but even at our lowest of lows, the Sun shines through the clouds. With this card on the table for you, you might be able to anticipate a kind of joy and excitement that parallels the kind of optimism and innocence children radiate. This is a kind of good luck and positive energy that can benefit us in any situation. So embrace its light when it smiles upon you in your tarot spread because life is about to get a whole lot sunnier. Number four, six of wands. Sometimes it's not just money or a period of peace that we are looking for, but a cheer of validation from our peers and loved ones. The Six of Wands is a success card in triumph over obstacles, but with a parade and an audience applauding to accompany it. It's not really about taking the spotlight permanently or being conceited either. The Six of Wands reminds us that we all deserve our moment to be patted on the back. With this card on the horizon for you, you can expect that some recognition and cheer are on their way to you. And of course, it's well-deserved too. Number three, the world. Well, well, when the world is at your feet, prepare to have it all. That is because when this card appears in a tarot reading, it means that you are glowing with a sense of wholeness, achievement, fulfillment, and completion. A long-term project, period of study, relationship, or career has come full circle, and you are now reveling in the sense of closure and accomplishment. This card could represent graduation, a marriage, the birth of a child, or achieving a long-held dream or aspiration. You have finally accomplished your goal or purpose. Everything has come together and you are in the right place, doing the right thing, achieving what you have envisioned. You feel whole and complete. But if you have not quite reached this point of completion, don't worry, you are very close. You may still need an added level of understanding to graduate to a higher level and enjoy real success. My little tip for you is to look back at your past experiences and acknowledge how far you have come and what you learned along the way. It may surprise you to look back at your progress and see how much you have achieved. This reflection may also be what you need to bring your project to its final stages. Number two, Wheel of Fortune. Often associated with Jupiter, often known as a planet of luck. It's not surprising that the Wheel of Fortune is a sign of good fortune. Well, it's even in the name. The Wheel of Fortune can show up when we are even least expecting it. Here to tell us that the wheel is always turning and life is in a state of constant change. If you are going through a difficult time, rest assured that it will get better from here. Good luck and good fortune will make the return in time. Similarly, if things are going well, know this too, it will change and life may return to normal soon. This cycle shows why it is so important to cherish the blissful moments in your life and make the most of them while they are within reach. Because in a flash, they could be gone. The Wheel of Fortune is also known as the Wheel of Karma. It reminds you that what goes around, comes around. Be a kind and loving person to others, and they will be kind and loving to you. Be nasty and mean, and you'll get nasty and mean turning back your way. So if you want happiness and abundance, make sure you are sending out that positive juju and kind. What you send out into the universe will come back your way. Number one, Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands comes as a sign that even in the face of adversity, you stand tall and strong. You may be on the edge of exhaustion, but you are resilient, persistent, and ready to do what it takes to get to the finish line. This card may also come when you feel battered and bruised, having endured significant challenges and struggles along your path. Just when you think you are making progress, you suffer another setback. The Nine of Wands asks you to trust that this is merely a test of your grit and resilience, and know that every time you overcome an obstacle, you are getting stronger. You have the inner resources necessary to overcome any difficulty you encounter, even though it may seem impossible at the time. Well, see this nine as an assurance that you will eventually prosper if you maintain your position. And if you do not succeed at first, then try again. Just keep pushing because you are so close to the finish line. You are bound to succeed. Well, that brings us to the end of our today's video. Comment down below what you think about these cards. Also. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more videos on astrology and much more. Check out this video, Nine Surprising Astrology Predictions, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.